In this video, revealing how to make your first $1,000 with crypto, even as a complete beginner, more with that after the intro. Hey guys, Mike Vasile here, welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We got a 62 year old woman that went from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out now. So if you're gonna ask me what was like some of my most funnest, craziest, adventure packed times, it was around the year of like, 2018 when me and a bunch of friends that live here in like for example Thailand and Bali and all around the world started kind of like Coming together kind of like the the, the movie and the TV show entourage where you would kind of have like your crew And you go to all these events and we would literally go to all of these events about crypto And the craziest thing is not only did I get to go ahead and travel with like a bunch of my close friends But I saw some of the craziest ways to earn money with crypto Right, some of which is probably the ones that you like don't like, and they were kind of like the ones that did shady things back in the day when Bitcoin was kind of used for like odd transactions on the internet, and they just held it and made millions of dollars. And other people worked for exchanges and got paid. Like I remember, I, I met this guy in Thailand. Right, he literally got paid in Bitcoin five thousand dollars a month back when Bitcoin was literally worth nothing, and now he has like a thousand plus Bitcoin. And I'm just like looking at them, and I'm like, oh wow, like they literally made money in crypto because they were ahead of the curve. And me just getting started around like 2018-ish, like I was just like, oh man, like that can never be me, right? So I had to think of more creative ways to earn crypto. And if you're in that same space, and even though this isn't financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, but you would like to make your first $1,000 in crypto, there are actually risk, like 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 less riskier ways to get into crypto that, that most people actually think about, right? Like most people think, oh, to make a bunch of money in crypto, you just have to go ahead and buy it and hold it. And even though that, that is kind of true, depending on what time you go ahead and, and get into it, there are certain aspects that you could even earn your first $1,000 in crypto that like I said are a lot less riskier than the traditional ways, right? Like of course you have like buying and holding where people could go to just Coinbase and buy with the expectation thinking that it's gonna be a lot more in value later on, right? Of course you have to not have this, uh, how do you say like fear of missing out or you, you have to like have diamond hands where you just don't let go, right? Like I, I remember back in like 2018, I held on to it and it hit 20 grand and then it dropped, right? So if I would have freaked out and sold when it dropped, I would have literally missed out on the growth when it went from 20 grand to like, you know, whatever it is right now, right? And that's the thing, right? If you are gonna go ahead and do that process, right? Earning your first $1,000 isn't necessarily how smart you are, but how patient you are in the long-term uh, like idea of this project, right? But like I said, most people don't have the ability to go ahead and do that, so there's other ways. What other people are also going ahead and doing is just like, for example, trading on Binance, right? I have a bunch of friends that literally live here in Bali, um, not just the people that, for example, make a bunch of money online, like this 11-year-old girl that turned on $30 million, or this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit, but there's literally people like you go to the cafes here in Bali and everyone's just talking about, oh, I'm create, trading crypto, like I'm trading this coin or I'm, I sold out or I just got out of this position. And it's so interesting, but like I said, that's only if you have some type of knowledge for that. What a lot of people are also getting into is just becoming an affiliate of like an exchange. So you can see, you can literally type in uh, Binance affiliate. And the coolest thing is when you go ahead and for example, sign up, you could earn up to 50% commission on a qualified trade when someone goes through your link. So I also have, like while I was like going to these events, I met these guys who were literally traders, but they made most of their money through affiliate commissions recommending the exchange that they go ahead and re recommend, right? Like I, I literally had this friend that was like making a Bitcoin a day when um, Bitcoin was about like 3,000 to $5,000. And he was telling me, he was like, yeah, man, he literally just created content on his blog or his like YouTube channel talking about the trades that he was making. And even though he was making money with the trades, people were literally looking at his content, clicking on his affiliate link to go ahead and find the exchange that he was using. And every single time people literally made a trade through his uh, commission for like the lifetime of the, the fact that they clicked on the link, he would get paid for that. So he literally had like a, a group of a thousand traders that clicked on his link and they traded Bitcoin through his account and because he gets lifetime of like commissions, he literally got paid every single time someone made a, a trade, right? So that was literally a Bitcoin a day when Bitcoin was three to $5,000.
Right? So how, how ridiculous is that, right? And he didn't have to go ahead and invest in those mo- his own money because he did affiliate, right? You can do the exact same thing. A lot of people use, uh, for, for example, things like a ledger to go ahead and hold their crypto, right? But did you know that Ledger actually has an affiliate program where you recommend someone to use a Ledger and you refer users? You actually earn money in Bitcoin. Or another one, Trezor. Trezor is a safe place where people go ahead and store their coins, right? But as you can see, with a lot more people going and buying Trezors to go ahead and, for example, have you know like a, a more stable and secure you know like wallet. Right, you, They also have an affiliate partnership where you can go ahead and recommend this. And look at this, you're in 12% to 15% referral commissions for each sale. So there's literally people making their first $1,000 in crypto, in Bitcoin, instead of actually, for example, you know, just like buying and holding, which is the most obvious way, right? Oh, look, I made a thousand bucks because I held it for like 10, 20, 30 years and it just finally you know, got it to the point where I made my first thousand. You could immediately start earning you know, commissions in crypto. Doesn't matter like if Bitcoin's up or down or whatever the market is right now, based off of just recommending products that people are already using. Does that make sense? Another way that people are making their first money, like as uh, for example, in crypto is selling a service. So what surprised me when I went to all these events is you would see like the, 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 the old time people that would sell like, I guess, fake IDs and then make money in crypto back in the day when Bitcoin was used for shady transactions. But you also saw people who just got into the game, but they made their money in crypto because they sold a service, right? They maybe did like graphic design, they uh, worked for an exchange, they did admin, they uh, did customer service for a crypto project, they did, uh, for example, advertising and marketing for a crypto project, and they just got paid in Ethereum. And if you, if you understand certain things like that, like graphic design, video editing, uh, building websites, and you are more of like a freelancer, you can literally go to blocklancer.net and you can see that there's a bunch of gigs available and any one of these things from writing to jobs, to smart contracts, to accounts and followers, a lot of these people literally have gigs where you get paid in Bitcoin. You could see the amount of Bitcoin you get paid like over there, depending on what uh, Bitcoin actually is at the time. And you could see even like, for example, if we do like uh, blockchain jobs, you could see uh, if you scroll down to all these things, I will write a white paper for your project. This guy's charging two Bitcoin. You can see crowd raising fund uh, development, Ethereum token, smart contracts on Ethereum. And you can even see like some basic ones where people are gonna do like writing and translation. Like I'll write a 1000 word article for you. Um, Highly SEO traffic for your company website, right? So it's all these additional things that you would normally get paid like in US fiat, but you can see that there's so many different jobs where people are doing translations and also getting paid, for example, in crypto, right? Another one also is you could find jobs in, for example, bit gigs from web designer to text to voice service, uh, to Photoshop expert, if you know any one of those things, or even just getting good at you know, creating professional logos, check this out. There's 1,400 jobs available. And as you can see here at crypto.jobs, there's also a bunch of blockchain jobs available. But one of the things that you gotta understand when it comes to making money in crypto is what I've realized, like, yeah, it's good if you get in early, that's one thing, that's one thing, of course, you see a trend that happens and you hop in before the trend and you make a bunch of money. The second thing is understanding, okay, well, if that's the case, maybe I have to learn a technical skill. So, you know, you see people that make a bunch of money, their first thousand bucks, uh, like analyzing technical analysis with trading and day trading, which like, if you look at Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett doesn't like day trading because it's, it's not like, it's not like a long-term game because of the fact that you're constantly reactive and looking at the markets and and your happiness is tied to a screen. So that leads me to the third step. And the third step is doing some type of service or getting commissions from some type of crypto company. And that's like just what people make money in traditional ways. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's in crypto, US currency, Chinese currency, it doesn't matter. Because like, if you really think about it, at the end of the day, all these crypto uh, businesses that people are investing in are businesses. And their main goal, if people are, for example, investing in the project is for it to go up. But if you look at a traditional company, the only reason why a traditional company like Apple or Amazon would go up in value is because they're, them as an entity and as a business made more money, right? So think about it, people are literally going and investing in these crypto projects because they think it's gonna go up in value, but most of these crypto projects do not make any revenue whatsoever. So what you could do instead is literally go 
or the businesses that are in the crypto space that are literally paying in crypto or allowing you to earn commissions in crypto because then you see that they're literally producing revenue. So even though you might not be like investing in the company, you're investing like in the growth of that business that will, of course, ultimately pay you money your first thousand dollars in crypto. So that's just one thing to understand. Of course, if you want faster and easy ways to make money online, where we literally have people in our community go from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. Now, that's literally fiat, but then you could go ahead and, for example, put that in the crypto projects that you want. Like Dina at age 47 went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. Then sign up for this week's free workshop below and check out this video and this podcast right here. Remember, this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. See you guys later. Woo!